Usu, what's up guys? My name is Jake Xiao. Today we're coming back with another video and it's going to be about Toji Fushiguro, also known as Toji Zenin. But yeah, this video is mostly based off how Toji Zenin uses his Zero Cursed energy and why the Zero Cursed energy has been so effective within the story of Jujutsu Kaisen. This is gonna be a good one. But before we get into that, let me just say quickly that I have a community on Twitter named Jujutsu Kaisen which you guys should join because everyone that supports Jujutsu Kaisen, everyone that likes Jujutsu Kaisen would actually be able to talk within this small space and you'll be able to talk about the chapters that come out weekly and you'll be able to talk about multiple multiple things and I believe that you should join it so please check it out down in the description down below. Also if you haven't already make sure you click the like button let's aim for 25 likes this is the goal that I really want to be averaging and I believe that we can do this so please can we get 25 likes so then you can go into the algorithm and people know that you enjoyed the video not only that comment down below in the comment section what your thoughts are on the zero cursed energy how impactful do you think it's going to have on the story of Jujutsu Kaisen moving forward especially within this culling games now let's get into the reason why this young beast OG for Shiguro has become a, such a likable character within the Jujutsu Kaisen community and how Izuka's energy has been used so effectively in the right way. So to start off straight off the bat, what we do know is that you are able to hide your presence. Now, listen, all you told you can do it in this way. The reason I say this is because he seems to be a trained hitman, a trained assassin. So the way he's able to use his body and the zero cursed energy to his like advantage was amazing that is why he was able to get gojo someone with the six eyes he caught him slipping and then after hit him in the back straight through and even admitted that he's rusty so the fact that he's able to move with such exquisiteness if that's a word and still able to cause damage to the strongest sorcerer alive is amazing this was an advantage of his ever since he was young but the only reason why he has been able to master this craft was due to gojo you see this is actually kind of ironic because at the beginning gojo was the one that was the first person to actually detect him because he had the six eyes Having the six eyes as Goju Sensei is crazy. You know, it actually allows you to see things that not normal people can see. And he was able to see someone that had no cursed energy. Cursed energy to sorceress, you can see it spewing out of their bodies, depending on how you can control them. Basically, if you're a sorcerer, you'll be able to see someone else's cursed energy. Which is not the case when you face against the man named Toji Fushiguro. In fact, it's a different ball game. As you can see, there's benefits with getting the zero curse energy through heavily restrictions. Heavily restrictions are what happens when you are born and you're just born with a certain condition. For example, Toji was born without any curse energy and without having no curse energy, he was then replaced with something else, which was his innate abilities, his physical prowess. So whereas someone may be strong at using curse techniques, you're exposing the cursed energy shooting out projectiles he actually has the superhuman strength to replace that which could be seen as a positive in his case now onto the other point of his immense physical attributes which is practically what his human strength is immense physical attributes when you face gojo you can clearly see that toji is no regular human being even though he is meant to be seen as one because he doesn't use cursed energy, cursed techniques, reverse cursed techniques, etc, etc. He's actually able to have an increased speed, increased power and precision in his attacks. This is why he was actually able to overpower Goju Sensei and completely solo Ghetto. Someone with many many cursed spirits in his arsenal. See, Toji Fujiguro is just that guy. He's just someone that you bump into is like a hurricane, is like a storm. Someone that's one in a, in a billion, one like once every millennium. You don't see people like Toji Fujiguro because this is such a rare ability. This is rare to have. Toji really stamped a new mark and age within Jujutsu Kaisen by having zero cursed energy due to the fact that he was an outcast to the Zenin family because he got bullied and basically banished from their home territory due to the fact they had zero curse energy. But the Zenin clan was so oblivious to this, they didn't even know they had a special gift, a special charm, 
someone that had zero curse energy was actually the strongest in the whole clan. They didn't even realize the amount of power they actually had. But when he left and then was able to actually show off the power, they were regretting the day that he left and wished that he would join him back to the clan. That's why ever since his name has been put in such high regard. Even by Yuki, someone that we know is a special grade because we've been told this and they have already said how rare how amazing someone like Toji Fishiguro is. They said that they've traveled the world. You know, understand it? When she was having a conversation with Ghetto, she said she traveled the world and was able to not find one person, one with zero curse energy. The only person or the only thing that was closest to this was Maki which we then eventually find out she has the flipper zero cursed energy because she went against her father and then unlocked this power when she had zero cursed energy you can see it's a completely different ball game someone with a little bit of cursed energy to having no cursed energy makes an immaculate difference this all goes circle round back to the heavily restriction. The heavily restriction was able to allow all of this to be the case. It seems to be something that's going through the Zenin family blood. I don't know if this is anything to do with the ancestors, maybe the ancestors before had zero cursed energy, I'm not 100% sure. But the fact that two people in the same generation was able to get the zero cursed energy is pretty suspicious. And this is not the only ability that the Zero Curse Energy actually has in store. Not only does he have physical prowess, not only can he hide his presence, but he can also make it hard for you to predict his movements, to predict where he's going to hit you. Now, if you remember, when he was fighting Gojo, Gojo did say that he can't read his moves. Someone with the limitless, someone with the six eyes who can see all, not being able to read your moves must mean one thing, that the unpredictability factor increases. To give you more of a perspective, from the fight of Yuji vs Yuta, layer down within the Jujutsu Kaisen manga, you do see a chapter where they explain how the curse energy works when you are fighting. Whereas, if someone is throwing a punch, because of the curse energy, you can kind of interpret and see the direction of where the curse energy is spewing out. And also, if you are going to put concentration on it or not. But because of how strong Toji is, the fact that he has the physical prowess and you can't read this curse energy, that means his moves are going to be pretty much unpredictable. And it's going to be hard to count on. It is said within chapter 140 of Jujutsu Kaisen that an elite fighter has great accuracy in controlling cursed energy. So you would actually be able to predict maybe where the punch may go. Especially if it's from an elite. It will be harder to make the read but when it's executed you can then see where they're actually about to hit or if they're about to hit precisely. It makes it very difficult right? But in the case of Yuji vs Utah, it seems that Utah had everywhere covered to the point where because of the constant flow of cursed energy you won't even be able to see the attacks come by because it won't be concentrated in one place since his whole aura is basically expanding but the overall problem would be the fact that in Toji's case the fact that it's zero means that you can't predict anything you don't even know when the punch is gonna come by so for different reasons these are two scary things. No curse energy means that you can't predict when the attack is going to come by, if it's going to be a right punch, left punch, right kick, left kick. You literally have to guess. So guys, as you can see, zero curse energy has a lot of positives. Not only are these the only positives, but the fact that you can add to your arsenal with having an inverted spear, having a curse tool, makes you even more of a menace. Because you are able to cut down people's curse energy while you, someone with so much physical prowess, don't even feel the, neg the negatives of it. So much so that he was able to strike Gojo through the throat, breaking, literally ignoring his infinity that he always has. So as you can see, Toji Fushiguro is clearly a vital character to the series of Jujutsu Kaisen. 
not only is he vital, he has shown that he possesses something amazing. He has shown the fact that you could be someone that is classed as nothing and become one of the strongest ever. Toji is so likeable as well as his attitude being so laid back and cool. With having the Zero Curse energy, this has made Toji one of the most unique characters within Jujutsu Kaisen and the only closest person to him is currently Maki. She's trying to steal his whole flipping flow, but it is what it is. Toji Fushiguro, he is the true GOAT of Jujutsu Kaisen and that is pretty much why everyone loves him. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure you leave a like. If you're trying to aim for 25 likes, join the community on Twitter. The link's in the description down below. Make sure to turn on the post notifications. And as I say to the new and old people that come and visit my channel, Jana.